Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Victoria Sanchez. And I'm Karina Gonzalez. Today is Tuesday, March 5th. Let's get started with your morning announcements. This month's Wolfpack Wednesday will be at Rubio's located on Elk Grove Boulevard. Come out and support tomorrow. Come out and support CO tomorrow, March 6th, for lunch or dinner. Remember to show your school spirit by wearing blue and orange between 5 and 8 p.m. Tickets for the junior and senior prom are now on sale. The price is $80 per person and includes dinner and the dance. Guest passes are now available online at the COHS website and are due March 22nd. Students going to the Oregon Shakespeare Festival field trip need to come to a brief meeting in HE5 Friday at 315. The meeting should be about 20 to 30 minutes. Don't forget UNICEF's Change for Change fund fundraiser is still going on and will last until March 8th. Be sure to donate in your first period class. Winning department teachers will receive UNICEF shirts and the winning class will get Krispy Kreme donuts. Now let's check in with Cheyenne and Brennan for your In the News announcements. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Brennan Smith. And I'm Cheyenne King. Now let's get into today's news. Did you know every day 1,000 infants are born with HIV? So that means 330,000 children have this unfortunate disease that wears down your immune system. But today, an HIV toddler has been announced cured. The mother was diagnosed with HIV the day before her baby was born, and so the doctor didn't even test to see if the baby had it. He assumed he had HIV so that he could save time. The doctor gave him three drugs to help the infection. He thinks this was a success because of his good timing. He encourages doctors in the future to automatically do this and ultimately save their lives. This drug is expensive, but cheaper than a lifetime of medications. Hopefully, this will save hundreds of babies daily. Thanks, Cheyenne. According to CNN, Oberlin College in Ohio suspended classes on Monday after a student reported seeing a person resembling a Ku Klux Klan member or near the college's African Heritage House. The sighting of the, of the person wearing a white hood and robe was reported early Monday morning and follows a strain of recent hate incidents on Oberlin's campus that have ignited shock and confusion among the student body. Oberlin College is a small liberal arts college in Oberlin, Ohio, with almost 3,000 students. An emergency meeting in what among the college's officials was immediately called after the report. Apart from that, other incidents have included several posters containing multiple racial slurs and other derogatory statements, targeting various student communities placed around campus. Other reports include various flyers placed around campus containing racist, anti-Semitic, and homophobic language and swastika graffiti. A teacher from Oberlin, Co Oberlin College said in an interview with CNN, Racism is still in here and may not be as visible as it was 50 years ago, but it's still visible in our country. We still need to fight it, and even in 2013, we want to remember that hate is unproductive. Love reigns supreme. What an interesting story, Brennan. Well, if someone was dying in front of you, would you give them CPR? Well, at the Glenwoods Gardens Senior Home in Bakersfield, the thought was otherwise, when one of the nurses refused to help the 87-year-old woman because she said she's not supposed to. She called 911 very calmly while the dispatcher was urging her to help. Unfortunately, she was declared dead because no one would save him. The director of the Glenwood states that she handled the situation correctly. Apparently, that assistant living home did not permit the nurses to perform CPR in any case. Well, that's definitely something you should check into when choosing your grandma's home. Great way to save lives indeed. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Brennan Smith. And I'm Cheyenne King. Back, Back to you, you Karina, Karina and Victoria. Victoria. Monday, March 11th, the girls basketball team will be having their awards night at Sea's Pizza on Stockton Boulevard at 6.30. Also, Wednesday the 6th, Coach Parks will be at both lunches to discuss spring and summer leagues as well as conditioning. Attention all club leaders, if you have any announcements you would like to air on Wolfpack TV, please submit them to Mr. Mason. Hey Victoria, did you watch the Oscars last week? No, but let's see if you guys did. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, I didn't watch the Oscars. I feel like Seth MacFarlane did a good job. <laughs> um, yes, I did watch the Oscars, of course. Um, who wouldn't? I would have to say I was more than excited that Anne Hathaway and Jennifer Lawrence won for Best Supporting and Best Actress. And I also like...
Music, the musical tributes of Chicago Dream Girls and Les Mis. Um, I did watch the Oscars while well, I watched some of the Oscars. I liked when the ladies sang Memories, but I started crying when they were showing the people who had died. I watched the Oscars and I, I did want Jennifer Lawrence to win um, because I really liked her in um, The Hunger Games. Um, I think Seth MacFarlane was a pretty good host. Um, I thought like the beginning was really funny when they did like Flight and all the remakes and stuff like that with the sock puppets. And then um, I was, I never saw Les Mis, so I wasn't sure if I was mad or not. I mean, I hear it's a pretty good movie, so yeah. I had no emotion because I didn't even watch it. I feel bad now. <laughs> this month is Pi Month, March 14, 3.14, and the math department is putting on a contest this week and next week. The problem this week is the Whoopi Pie problem, which is attached on School Loop. Be sure to turn it into any math teacher by Friday, March 8. The winners will be announced Monday, March 11. Well, that looks like all we have for you today. I'm Victoria Sanchez. And I'm Karina Gonzalez. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf. Have a great day, Wolf Pack. Food, fun, friends. I can't think of a better way to spend my day, so don't delay and join D-Malay. Valley D-Malay, a club for dudes. Call or find us on Facebook. I got my license. After hard work. And training. Make sure you get help from the company that ensures you to be ready for the road. Because, because we're, we're all, all good. good. All, all good, good drivers. drivers.